It's me, Tanya, and I'm back. I know, it's been a while, you didn't see me, you didn't hear me, but as you all know, some really horrible things happen in Ukraine, with my family, with my friends. War. And I really needed this time to make up my mind and to realize that I'm ready to share with you my thoughts about my family, about Ukraine. I've decided to name this series Dim, which is means home. You know, first of all, I need to take a deep breath because it's gonna be very emotional to me. Okay, I'm ready. First of all, I'm gonna bring you to 22nd of February, two days before war started. My friend is a journalist in local newspaper in Macau. 22nd of February, he asked me to give him an interview about the current situation at that moment between Russia and Ukraine. And I gave an emotional interview and noticed that war is inevitable because Russia is a country that is begging wars for centuries. Russian-Ukrainian war was started eight years earlier, in 2014. Just the whole world didn't react properly. And I'm not that kind of person who was living in some rainbow skies and believe in a friendship between Russia and Ukraine. I was the kind of person who expected invasion. I just didn't know how big scale it would be and how cruel Russian army would be. 23rd of February, I felt horrible. And I share in IG with my followers about my fear and the possibility of war. At that moment, everyone was calm and people supported me. People was sure that nothing will happen, uh, but I felt something, something bad right here. And uh, maximum what people could think is that Russia will attack us again by this scenario of 2014 from the east. Nobody could even think that it would happen so big from the north, from the east, and from the south. Little did we know what would happen to us less than in 24 hours. My last conversation before war was about war with my friend Lera. We laughed, you know, she cheered me up because I was frightened of possibility that war could happen very soon. And, you know, she took away all my worries. And it was six hours before invasion starts. And it was my last conversation in a peaceful life. It was my last conversation when I speak Russian. We did speak Russian with Lera. After that, everything changed. 7 in the morning, 24th of February, I got a message from my sister Yulia. And I immediately woke up boredom and said that it started. It's a war. A few minutes later, I got a voice message from my mom in our family group chat. You know, her voice sounds so calm to me. She, she really was ready for it. Even though she, a few days early, if we talk about this, she was sure that nothing will happen. But on that day, she was ready for it. She calmed us down, me and my sister, and she sounds to me like some superhero from DC, like Wonder Woman. She asked us, do not panic, keep calm, keep our mind clear, and like, it's gonna be fine. 
is going to end soon. This is what she said. On that day, there was a lot of messages to my friends, to relatives, to people who I didn't talk for years. Everyone asked, how is my family? I asked them, how, how are they? How is the situation in their city? People talk. I was 24 hours online. I called to my brother. He at that moment was in Singapore on his uh, sailor contract. He served in army in 2014 on the east and I knew that he will go to war. And I asked him, please, <laughs> please stay in Singapore, be safe, it's gonna be fine. I tried to change his mind and that there is no flight to Ukraine, he is gonna stuck somewhere on the halfway, but he said that he made up his mind already and he have submitted the report of his dismissal. So it was too late. So this is, was my personal story of a few days before war started and the first day. My next video is gonna be about my family, my friends, how situation had changed for these months, how we have changed. And thank you for watching, thank you for spending your time with me. You know, it was one of the reasons why I didn't want to do this video earlier because I knew that I could cry every second. So now I already try my best and uh, I'm sorry for being extra emotional, but you have to understand that this is about me and this is about my team. Thank you for watching. Танюшенька, не переживай, мы не паникуем. Документы мы собрали, сумка собрана, так что все нормально. Поняла? Все, не переживай. Самое страшное, вот я знаю, в таких ситуациях, вот это я по отношению тех, кто сейчас здесь, паника. Мы не паникуем, мы спокойны. Все нормально. Будем держать в курсе. Сейчас вот заряжаю телефон, чтобы он был на всякий случай, мало ли. Так что все будет нормально. Тема у нас.